bloody beast. Dot com. Greetings, mortal. Are you ready to die? Hello, everyone. My name is Rafael Marsh, and welcome to another hobby update. Uh, so, this will be the first video for uh, the narrative campaign I'm gonna run for two person. Uh, you know, I wanna play all the battles uh, that happen between the uh, uh, Stormcast Eternals and the Corn Blood Bound Warriors. And as you can see, I bought this uh, like the small starter set, uh, just you know to start with those armies. I have uh, myself the bigger box for Age of Sigmar starter set, but uh, I'm overwhelmed with the number of models I have to paint and they glue together and stuff like that. So this will be like the the quicker to start thing. Uh, I guess this is a kind of like small rule book. Uh, with some scenarios for uh, smaller games and you already have those uh, pretty nice made uh, what do you call the the war scroll cards and that's pretty pretty cool uh, I really like it uh, I'll make unboxing of this video uh, sorry of this box <laughs> uh, I, I need to just can't, like, remove the foil come on yeah So I'm really happy they, they made this small version of the starter set because it really is a better thing. Okay, so we've got the rule book and like the how to glue models manual. We have bases. Those are for stormcast, so five bigger bases and there's like a lot of 32 millimeter bases. Seven dice and the transfer sheet and the screws. So yeah, I'm I'm really glad they they did those. Like you can buy those cultist just like that in the smaller number, which is cool. Uh, but I guess they are the same models as as the one in the uh, bigger starter box. So nothing too fancy. I mean, the models are great. Like they're, they're beautiful. Uh, but since they all are in the bigger box, you can, if you can, if your money can allow this, you can buy just the bigger box. Yeah, like uh, I really do like the the smaller number of models in the set and those are two retributors I've heard a lot about those guys like they, they can dish out a lot of damage and they do mortal wounds so it's very very cool for a, for a, um, for the Stormcast Eternal player yeah sorry but uh, I had some problems Unboxing it. Okay, so here's the assembly guide. <laughs> wow, there's colors there. Like it's it's full color. Cool. Uh, I mean, not for me because it's easy. So it's nothing too fancy. So now, what what do we have? Like we've got those Stormcast Eternals. Oh, like, uh, so they do have like this special ability for fighting with heroes. I mean, the, the bigger, or the heroes or the bigger like, the monsters. That's nice. Like, I saw the same on the Oruk Iron Jaw Brutes. That's cool because, uh, yeah, with the smaller number of models. Anyway, uh, I really enjoy those. Like those are the most beautiful cards. I made my uh, own cards because uh, you know for for flesh eaters, so I can play. But these are very beautiful. Uh, and there I like the size of yeah, of like the I don't know like. A4, I guess. 
yeah. Like uh, half of the A4, so it's A5 for one. But they are made really, really well. So the retributors, yeah. Two mortal wounds. It's hell, I think, you know. It's uh, cool stuff, but the, but the graphic here is awesome. Like this guys, this guys, and the blood rivers. Yeah, the blood rivers. The artwork is really great. Yeah, I don't know. Works. Cool. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so that's all. Like, uh, oh no, that we've got the kind of rule book here. So there's some introduction. There's something about mortariums, and there's like the small battlefield, it's like 24 inches square. And some, yeah, some scenarios. Yeah, I guess this would be something like they did in the what do you call the. Uh, Oh, and then we have the rules in the Dark Vengeance, where there's like uh, like you have waves of warriors to fight. And then this says the adventure continues, and you should uh, by start getting started with Warhammer Age of Sigmar with some background ideas and inspiration. So yeah, I I'll probably get this one too. And then, of course, I'll start painting those models and like, getting bigger fights. And then, like, uh, you can expand your army with those smaller sets. That's cool. And then, expand your core army. And then you have like those dragons and Archeon. <laughs> yeah, cool. And then you have your scale here. <laughs> Rangefinder. Hey, they should add this metal one to this uh, to this box. That would be legit. Like, it would be the best. Okay, so that's all in this box. I really enjoy uh, this thing. Like I. I think this will be fun. Like uh, I'll be slowly expanding those armies then, and you know, fighting, and fighting using different rules because uh, why not? Uh, like right now, I saw the Games Workshop have have this uh, uh, like Warhammer World website when they put uh, like uh, what they call like the event packs, yeah, and there you can find like different rules. And right now. They have this rule like the, the each model is like one unit and uh, you build like, like your small force and you fight uh, like uh, like Mordheim like battles. So the small skirmish is called Reg Regiments of uh, Renown. It used to be the same name in the 8th edition. Uh, like in 8th edition there was an event that was called same and you actually build your own uh, army for that event using uh, like one model for from each you, you could to choose from your whole army one model that it has to be the, the standard guide it couldn't be a champion or like a hero uh, and that was cool idea you know i really like stuff like that it's like mortheim like and I love Montreal, so all that stuff is very, very cool. I I really enjoy that stuff. So I'll probably make like a, maybe when I like uh, play all the all the scenarios from this uh, uh, Storm of Sigma rulebook, I will then move uh, to to actually play the uh, the other kind of battles. Like I'll probably use those rules for for some place of this. Uh, so you can actually you know see how it works and yeah I guess that's it like uh, subscribe uh, if you want to see more and yeah like see you in the next one
The next one would be probably uh, like the first battle report with painted uh, models from this set. Okay, take her. Bye. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed what you've seen, please subscribe, like and comment. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Google+. And you can check my website bloodybeast.com for more painted minis.